What's up, Odoers? Today, we're going to learn how to create and manage sales teams in the CRM app. Luckily for us, Odoo makes it super easy to automate sales tasks and track team performance when we configure a few settings, such as invoicing targets and assignment rules. So let's stop wasting time and just jump right into it, shall we? Here at Stealthy Wood, we just started shipping our lovely furniture all throughout Latin America. Pretty cool, right? Problem is, we don't have a sales team assigned to that region yet, so let's fix that. Before we start, we're going to need to enable two settings from the CRM settings page to get the most out of our sales team management. So let's go to configuration at the top and select settings. And here we're going to tick two checkboxes, first one being the multi-teams checkbox. And this is so we can assign salespeople to multiple teams. We're also going to tick the checkbox next to rule-based assignment. And this is how we'll automatically assign salespeople to new opportunities. And from this point, all we have to do is click save. One thing to know, Odoo uses predictive lead scoring to rank opportunities by their likelihood that they'll convert into customers and then eventually distributes them among the sales team. We can adjust the variables that are calculated in the lead scoring equation by clicking this update probabilities button under predictive lead scoring. But we're going to save that for another video because we do like these default settings. If you'd like to learn more about predictive lead scoring, check out our documentation linked in the description. Now, to manually assign leads, all you have to do is leave the running field set to manually beneath the rule-based assignment. Then you'd just click the Update Now button with the two arrows whenever you'd want to update and assign more leads. Alternatively, you can change this field and set it to Repeatedly to have Odoo automatically assign leads on a schedule. As you can see, when you click that, a few other fields appear. So let's use this option and set it to run for every two minutes. So all we have to do is change this to two and change it from days to minutes. It's important to note that automatic assignment works by assigning one lead per salesperson at a time. For example, with a team of five, five total leads are assigned, one to each salesperson on the team. If you want leads assigned quickly, it's best to have a short repeat set time, such as one or two minutes. You can also specify the exact time for the run, but this looks good as is. So let's go ahead and click the update now field to the right. And when we do, a pop-up appears and all we have to do is click save. That's all the setup we need. So let's go ahead and click on configuration once again, and then sales teams. From here, we see a list of all the teams we already set up. We can click into any team to further configure it, or we can click a new team by selecting new. In this case, we've already started a new sales team, but haven't configured it yet. So let's take care of that now simply by clicking on the Latin sales team. This page has everything we need to set up our sales team. As you can see, we've started with the name Latam sales, but we still need to fill out the rest of the form. Let's start by choosing a team leader for the sales teams, and that's going to be our loyal salesperson, Mark Demo. Mark also manages deals on our North American sales team, which is why we enable that multi-team option. The email alias field directly below is used for this sales team, and let's go ahead and call it LATAM Sales. Now, anytime an email is sent to this address, an opportunity will populate on the Kanban and will be assigned right to the sales team. Pretty neat, right? We can also use this accept emails from field here to restrict what emails are received by our sales team if we want. We have the option to receive emails from everyone, authenticated partners, followers only, as well as authenticated employees. But for this example, we're gonna keep it to everyone because we wanna make sure we accept emails from all sources. Finally, since the sales app is installed, there's also a field directly below labeled invoicing target, which represents the revenue target for the current month. The number we set here is used to populate the invoicing progress bar on the sales team dashboard. So let's give this invoicing target 25,000 a month. This assignment rule section here on the right appears because we enabled rule-based assignment earlier. This section shows us how many leads are currently assigned to this team out of their maximum. It also lets us set additional filters using the domain field. 
That field lets us select any domain across the apps in our database to narrow down the leads that can be assigned. Because this team is focused only on Latin America, we'll set a new rule that only targets opportunities from that specific region. To do that, we'll click on this little drop down and then select edit domain. Then we'll click on new rule. And in the first field here, we're going to type in tags. Select that from the options. And then in the second field here, we're going to put contains. And then lastly, in the third field, we're just going to put LATAM. Then all we have to do is click on confirm. And notice how we're now targeting fewer records. And these are the opportunities that have the LATAM tag attached. Of course, if we'd prefer to assign leads ourselves rather than automatically, for this particular team, we can always tick the skip auto assignment checkbox. But we're going to leave this alone for now. All right, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and start adding some members through the members tab directly below. For that, all we have to do is click add and then a pop-up appears and we'll choose our first salesman who's also our star salesman, David Thompson. And we'll also keep the other fields as is for the sake of time. Then all we have to do is click save and new because we're gonna add four more salespeople the same way. So we'll do Alejandro. We'll also do Carolina. And lastly, let's add Jose. Actually, we'll do one more, Marisol. And then from there, all we have to do is click Save and Close. And we can now see all of our new salespeople added to the team. Sweet. And there we go. That's everything we need to configure our sales team. Now let's assign them some leads. For that, all we have to do is scroll up and click the Assign Leads button at the top. And then a confirmation pop-up appears. And all we have to do is click Assign Leads again. And just like that, we can see all five of our LATAM salespeople have leads assigned to them. We can confirm this by going to Sales at the top and clicking My Pipeline. And all we have to do is clear the My Pipeline filter in the search bar so we can see all the opportunities currently in our pipeline. And there's some of our LATAM tags right there. And as you can see, we've assigned our team members to some of these tagged opportunities. And just like that, you've set up a new sales team with an invoicing target, created a custom automatic assignment, and saved yourself a whole lot of time managing your pipeline. Thanks for so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.